Hello everyone, welcome to Simply Beauty TV. I am your mixtures maven Sophia of Sophie's Soaps and Such and Simply Sophie's Beauty Essentials. Today I'm not mixing up anything. I am going to do this quick tutorial on how to wrap your hair in a beautiful turban. I call this a goddess turban. I've heard it called a Nefertiti turban. I've heard it called Erica Badu turban. And I also I've heard it called a goddess crown turban. So any one of those names I think will be uh, apropos for uh, this beautiful headdress. Uh, if you guys stay tuned, I'll be right back with you. Okay, I'm back. Now, as you can see, I'm, I'm going to dismantle this and then rebuild it. Uh, but I have several things going on here. As you can see, I think you can see in the top of my head here, you can see the color that's right here. And then it's the yellow and the red. And what you can't see is my black scarf. So I have a red scarf, yellow scarf, a black scarf and another black scarf. So I have four scarves on right now. And the scarves are like this, a long rectangular scarf. This scarf is two yards. So you no, know, go to the one, two yards. So you'll use two yards of material in order and, and four uh, pieces in order to create this. And this can be done either with solid colors or whatever color combination you want to um, use. Now, the reason why I've used so many is because my hair is short and I also have it braided down so to protect it. And I, I use uh, this method to protect my hair uh, uh, from the winter because it's cold now. Um, so uh, I do it for several other reasons, but those are the reasons that um, are important right now. So um, now let me go ahead and take it all loose. So one. Two. Now this is when it gets down to the tricky part. This is not a scarf. This is a piece of t-shirt. So I cut it. You can see. I just cut it from the front panel of my t-shirt. Here is the black scarf that I was talking about. Alrighty. Now I don't mind showing my hair on camera. Uh, as I said, um, I am my hair is short and it's in braids, and so here are my hush. Here are my braids. Okay, so anyway, what I did this is really easy, and it was a trick that I learned from a friend of mine a long time ago. Uh, so thank you, Jazara. I appreciate this tip. <laughs> So what she showed me, her locks are extremely long and she showed me how to use a t-shirt. How to tie my hip with a t-shirt. And so it goes, this is a long sleeve t-shirt. It's always easiest to do with a long sleeve t-shirt. Um, however, you, you know, depending on what size of uh, head you have, you can use your short sleeve t-shirt. But this always works for me and this is how I get the height and this is how I build it in order for it to stay up without having a lot of hair. Don't mind my phone. So anyway, I turn the shirt upside down and I turn it, well actually it doesn't matter which way either to the front or the back and I don't know if you can see that. That's the, this is the back of the, of the uh, t-shirt and then this is the inside portion. So I just put my head in the t-shirt. And then I tie it, and I, and I don't know if you can see it. Let me see if I can turn around. And I tie it, pardon whatever you may see back here, and I just tie the bottom half of the t-shirt around my head, and then I flip it over. Okay, so then 
you'll have this. Your head is inside of the t-shirt and I just kind of push it back. And then here are, here's your t-shirt, here are your arms. So I just roll the arms and the body of the t-shirt up until I get it tight enough around, uh, twisted enough so I could twist it around my head and I knot it or yeah that's a good word knot it knot it like that and you don't have to tie it tight twist it around the back and I put a little knot in it just so it'll stay and then I do it a sec a third time it feels a little snug but don't want to make it too tight and I just it's not even a knot it's just bit or whatever you call it it's just pulled in there like that so now that's my this is my base so um, with the base here, I push it up as if I had a ponytail or if I had hair and I would put my hair up in a, in a high uh, ponytail or a high bun, this is the, the concept so that my um, scars will have a base to sit on. So I just push it up in the top of my head like this. And so then I begin to build my wrap. Now, first off, I use the black one and I probably don't have to do this step um, I just want to so you could really do this in um, three scarves instead of four uh, I just did not want anything to show well, I'll just do it in three scarves and won't use that one so now pardon me bending down now here is the t-shirt okay and I just use the the finished edge of the t-shirt to go around the front of my face like this like a like a um, scarf and just it just fits over the top of my head and just tied in the back okay that's I guess scarf There you go, scarf number one. And then I use whatever color I choose to use next. And so I wanted the yellow closest to the green. So why, I don't know. So now what I did, let me show you here again. I take the shorter end um, of my material and I just put it around the back of my head and then close the green scarf. Make sure you know, just tuck it in where it can be tucked so that it won't hang out un from under your scarf. So just kind of tuck it in. And then you take your second scarf and um, you put it on your head, but you see this end is short. So you got to have a short end and a long end. So this end is long all the way till off the camera. <sighs> There you go. Now, I wanted my green to show inside inside of my wrap, so that's why I'm putting it at the base of my head. Oh, sorry. So it's sitting here at the base of my head like this. And if you notice, I'm holding my scarf um, where it kind of gathers because I want it to look kind of turban-like. So, uh, pardon me for looking at my computer. It's the only way I can get the scarf on right. But I want it to look turban-like. So if you gather it a little bit, it'll have uh, um, folds in it. So it'll um, look a, a little uh, tapered, and not tapered, but gathered up. So I take the short end and I wrap it across, pull it a little bit more, across my face at a, um, at a diagonal and um, up diagonally up to the side of my head. And then I take the long piece and I go diagonally across that short piece, holding it so it won't come down, because it will. And you see why I fold it, tried to fold the raw edge, just take my finger and fold the raw edge over, like that. And then I build around the green, just kind of draping the scarf and letting it 
fall where it wants to fall. Pull it a little tight, but not too tight. You give yourself a headache. <laughs> so pull a little tight and smooth it over any um, part of the edge that you put in first. And so here's your first scarf, and that's all you do, and just tuck it in. When I tuck it in, I try to smooth it in so I won't have too many knots and bumps. That's your first your first wrap. This is your first one. This is I told you it was really easy. So then you take your next scarf and you do the exact same thing. You take the shorter end. Here's your short end, here's your long end, and you just crisscross it a top, uh, crisscross it top uh, on top of the yellow scarf. Doing the same thing, holding it at the top of your head, and you take the red scarf, grab the other end so it won't slip of the uh, red scarf, and just feed it around your head. And you can make this one a little bit more snug, but like I said, not too tight. And if you feel like uh, you're getting a headache during the day, just loosen your scarf, rework it. And that is all she wrote. So now I'm going to tuck this loose in somewhere in this red scarf here. Just tuck it in. Now it's in there. And so what I do now is just manipulate the scarves for the height that I want or what I want to show. Tuck that down in a little bit tighter. There you go. Oops. And then you just kind of manipulate it to however you want it to look, however you want the folds to sit, you know, wherever you want to thin out or make bigger, reposition it. Then I push it back. A little edges here. And that's it. See how easy that was? I told you it didn't take long. What about five, ten minutes? That's all you have to do. So that's it. Any, any other questions? If you have any uh, requests and scarves, I don't even do scarf requests, so I don't even know why I'm saying that. But anyway, if you want me to do a scarf, just let me <laughs> let me know. Thank you guys so much for asking me to do a quick tutorial. You guys be blessed. I'll talk to you soon. Smooches. Bye bye. <laughs>